Welcome back to Big Boy. Thought I'd check in. Uh, although it has not much has uh, transpired, a lot of consequence has happened. Uh, last time, uh, the last video I did for you, I believe I had just pulled the 11th Panzer Division chip and we were going to execute on that action and most of that was going to be centered around here. <coughs> Excuse me. And then uh, I went ahead, I posted a few little bits and pieces about the, the gameplay, uh, photographs and stuff on Facebook. Not much on uh, the blog yet, but we'll, we'll get to that. However, I, I think we might have to reset. Uh, these German units, so uh, they're doing their exploit phase. So we've rolled for all these combats here. And that has just wiped out three regiments of, well, two regiments and a company of valuable artillery, <clears throat> which is going to severely hinder the Soviet effort. But more importantly, it's blown a hole. Oh, you know, what are we talking there? Ten hexes, eight hexes? You know, that's a couple of kilometers wide. And despite this crappy terrain, that's just a plus one across each one of those. We've captured one of these uh, victory locations that we'll need to keep. I'm not saying that we could keep it for the next three turns, but dislodging the uh, Germans out of here, if they reinforce this area, will be very difficult. And it also puts a significant threat. I'm going to zoom out. Puts a, let's move this. Uh, significant threat on the rest of the, the battlefield. Now, you might be saying, Kevin, you know, it's turn three. You've got all these reinforcements coming. Let me just separate that out. All these guys are coming in. <clears throat> so, but if you have a good hard look at them, most of them are only four factor at best uh, attack. And they've got some nice defense numbers and things like that. But going to be very tricky for them to get after it in amongst the city, little cities here, which I believe give you either a shift to the left, two shifts to the left. Yeah, so that's that's going to make it hard for them to pile up the odds. I'm trying to get the sunlight out of your view here. The rest of the map, we've now got high quality defensive units with medium quality attack values kind of spread out all over the place. And all of this is a function of my overly aggressive play on turn one, where we pressed the fifth mech, if you recall, all the way down to this area around here, trying to, I guess I was trying to block supply or slow down the advance of the reinforcements of 11th Panzer. And 11th Panzer just came through like a hot knife through butter. And these guys folded like a, like a, I don't know what, it was nasty. So I think it might be worth potentially resetting this. I think it's worth playing again. I can certainly see how, depending on the chip pulls here, we're going to get a pretty wide variety of results in terms of the flow of the game. And uh, I'd like to understand more about what both sides should be doing up here. Um, I don't see a viable attack strategy for for the uh, for the Soviets there unless they put those guys out of supply and halve the defensive values that might work. Uh, let me just double check and make sure there's no attrition in here because if there was attrition that would make a difference. <clears throat> Let's see. Barrage supply. Activated units previously marked out of supply. Have their markers removed. Once we're over the trace again. And uh, yada yada yada. Nope. No attrition. They are halved on defense. They lose exploit. They lose their Zoc. They cannot road march. And they cannot attack or barrage. And they do move at half movement. Okay, and uh, so any, if you were out of supply, so for instance, if I could put these guys out of supply here and then DG them, this out of supply conditions would be cumulative. So we'd be halved down to three and then halved again for being DG to be down to a uh, three would be a two uh, on defense. So they'd have a defensive strength there of two 
and that one would have uh, one, so that'd be defensive three. Now that would be viable. Now I got a five to one attack, it'd drop down to a three to one attack. I'm still gonna lose steps, but the, 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 the Germans are not gonna hang out here anyway. I, I imagine they would be keep, keep moving. You're getting a couple of moves or three moves a turn. Um, part of the classic problem with the uh, SCS, right, is the uh, uh, exploit capable units are going to get in at least three attacks. Sorry, not at least. We'll get in. We'll get in up to three attacks per turn. An overrun, uh, overrun when they move. A combat when they, uh, if they're adjacent to a unit, when they finish that overrun, and then an exploit move if they're eligible to exploit move. Uh, they they can do another overrun there, so they can do. Uh, three attacks, which is what a couple of these guys did uh, last turn, or well, this this current activation. Anyway, thought I'd share that with you, and let's, uh, I guess it's going to take these, one of, the, one of the downsides of this particular game are just the way, well, it's actually not really a downside. It's just be two big maps, and it's kind of blank. Uh, so uh, staying focused on finding where everything goes is uh, important. I'm not going to worry too much about getting formations correct this time. When I reset it, I'm just going to get a 376 unit and put it in place versus worrying about formations. And the only formations that really matter, of course, are the fifth mech and stuff like that. Uh, first tank. All right, talk to you soon. We'll go get this squared away.